She called me and told me that she had an issue up here about my grandson being in a dress. I mean, I'm trying to see what the issue is about that. Okay, you don't have to talk to her. Is she the one that was in charge of the kids while my grandson? First of all, I'm telling that matter because we don't do that the the, the, uh, the transgender and all that. We, you know, we don't do that. And, and I, I don't appreciate you encouraging him to put on no dress for the second day, too. I don't appreciate that. And things is going, I'm going further with this. Okay, you can go down and talk No, I'm not done talking to you. No, the next time that you put any kid in a dress, we're going to make you. Okay. You need to go talk to my director. Because I, as a teacher. No, I mean, you know I got an issue with you about that. I'm not playing with you. I'm sorry that you feel that way. Yeah, I'm sorry that you feel that way. But you should have called me before you made a decision to put my grandson in a dress. Okay, you can speak to me. No, I'm speaking to you. Please do not talk to me in that tone with my children. I wouldn't be up here if you wouldn't put my grandson in no dress. Yeah. Well, do what you got to do. With no, I'm taking over, too. Please lower your voice. You're in a classroom. I'm taking over, too. Well, well, you shouldn't have put my grandson in no dress. He's too. So, Brakate Yahawa, Brakate Yahawa, Brakate Yahawa, Brakate Yahawa, Brakate Yahawa, First and foremost, we want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahawa, Bashem Yahawa, Bashem Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders who rule well at Great Millstone, and a blessed salutation to the Akiyams in the four kind of the earth to push in the gospel and sincerity and truth. Shalom. Just a quick lesson to edify the body of Yahweh Shai. Hey, this is the so called white man's spirit. You understand? There's his spirit. His spirit is the spirit of Saddam and Gamaro. There's his spirit, and that's why he forces his way on everybody. You know, he forces this homosexuality throughout the earth. And you hear this Edomite, this devil saying, that you not on the list so I can't speak to you right but this, that is this man's seed and this is show that this devil exercising the power because they know that we 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 are we are we are we are slave to them they know that that's why they're being bold with it now they're being bold because we we don't own our children why do you think we have a birth certificate and that's why we've been telling you retarded Israelites repent Turn back to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh The most I about to turn the heat up on this devil. And all you Israelites talking about you don't have a problem with homosexuality. They're going to start molesting your kids. They're going to start dressing your son in dresses. And they're going to start making your daughter feel she's a man. They're going to start molesting them. Them pedophiles, they're going to start molesting them. Right? Because Yahweh, Yahweh have a problem with wickedness. That's why Yahweh Hashem Yahweh said, put the spirit out. Put it out. The homosexual homosexuality spirit is a spirit that have no limit. It have no boundaries. Right? And this is the so-called white man. That's why the so-called white race is going to be eradicated. Because they're not going to stop. These devils are not going to stop. And Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is going to take you devils out. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 16. Lest there be any fornicator. And what's a fornicator? A fornicator is somebody. Hey, go back to homosexuality. Lesbianism. Adultery homosexuality right ideology uh so like your idolatry right it's a or profane profane person what do you want profane me outside the temple unholy ungodly you understand that's what it mean confusion this is so-called white man spirit his spirit is confusion but you people want to be in league with this devil you people want to love this devil and we kept telling the so-called white man is the devil that the Bible speak of. Right? But who have eyes to see, can see. And who have ears to hear, going to hear. The rest of you Israelites, you two-thirds going to be destroyed because of what? Because of rebelliousness. Because of being stiff-necked. Right? He said, lest there be, Salakia, like Hebrews 12 and 16, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who, who for one morsel so soul is bought. Who for one morsel of meat soul is bought. Right? So this man is a profane man. This man is confusion, right? 
This is why it's saying in Deuteronomy, Leviticus chapter 20 verse 13, the most I shall put the spirit to death. There's, there's how you can cleanse it. Take it out. Right? This is, um, it also tells you in Deuteronomy 22, 5, a man should not wear that which is parted into a woman, neither a woman should put on a man's garment. All that do so is abomination. So you so why people are abomination and they're making you, they're making you Israelite abominable to the Heavenly Father. This is why they're pushing this homosexuality vibration on you, Jakes. And you, if, hey, you just love wickedness. You don't have a problem with homosexuality. The most I have about Hashem, have a problem with you. And he's going to destroy you if you don't repent. Right? Um, this is um, Deuteronomy 2, verse 31. For their rock is not as our rock. Our rock is righteousness. Our shy. Their rock is wickedness. Right? The so-called white man. Even our enemy themselves being judges, our enemies is so-called white man. So she stand up there, she proud. This devil stand up telling her she, he, she, he have no right to speak to she because he's now on the list. But that's the man's seed. That's the man's grandson. That is his seed. You understand? His seed bring forth that seed. That is that, that, is that man's spirit. That is that man's seed. You understand? Right? He said, for the vine is the vine of Sodom and, Gom and the field of Gomorrah, and this is so-called white man's spirit. That's his spirit. That's why he pushed the homosexuality. He pushed pedophilia. He pushed bestiality. He pushed transgender. This is spirit. He loved. He loved. He loved pushing it right in shit, and he loved. To, he loved people to push it right up in them. You have all the wealth. You have the power. Job nine twenty four. The others giving the only wicked. You got the power, but yes, say you going up in these women ass. Leaving all all the pussy for up in the ass. This is why. This is why Yahweh Bashem Yahweh going to eradicate you, devil. You devils got to be put out. After a thousand years of slavery, the devil's gonna be put out. Um, Omadiah 1 and 18. Deuteronomy 32 and 2. So, like it, Deuteronomy 32 and 32. For the vine is, is of the vine of Sodom and of the field of Gomorrah. He said, they, he said the grapes, he said their grapes are grapes of gall. The cluster are bitter. Yeah, the ways are bitter. And the ways are way of death. The so called white man is death. His ways is death. He pushed. He don't, he don't promote life, he promote death. Homosexuality don't procreate. Lesbianism don't pro pro he don't procreate. His ways is death. And we warn you, telling you, Jake's. You know, and this Jake in the spirit, in the spirit, we don't deal with them transgender business. We don't deal with the shit. The Jake in the spirit, you understand? Hey, y'all bashing me, I'm sure going to turn it up on you. You understand? You're gonna turn the heat up on you, devil. That was the said, if I want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders who rule with a great millstone, and a blessed sanitation to the Akyoms in the folk and the earth to push in the gospel and sincerity and truth. Shalom.